Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, we're in Photoshop Beta and I am going to show you how to combine images or how to blend images like a pro. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Here's an image, for example, but here's the thing. It's actually a combination of two images plus some generative fill. So let me show you how I did that. It's gonna take just a few seconds. All right, let's roll. All right, so to do this, the first step is you wanna to go to your Finder on a Mac your Explorer on a PC. Grab the first image of the two or more images that you want to combine. I'm gonna grab this one here, and then I'm gonna drag and drop this image into Photoshop Beta. Again, keep in mind, this is the beta because the generative fill is not in the big release yet. It should be soon. So there we go, we've got our first image, and I'm just gonna unlock it here just because it's just good habit. I'm gonna go back into Finder or Explorer if you're on a PC, grab the second image, drag and drop it on top, just like I did here. So we're basically just stacking the images, very simple. Now, if they're different sizes, you can adjust them as you see fit. You could just pull on one of the edges here, but in this case, they're pretty much the right size by default. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click enter, and now we've got two images side by side. Okay, good. Now, I'm gonna grab the top image with my move tool, and I'm just gonna pull it, holding down the shift key, and I'm gonna pull it to the right because I want them to basically join together as a side-by-side. -side. Now, when I do that, you're not gonna see the second image. It looks like it's gone, but it's actually not. What you need to do now is you wanna go up to Image and then go to Reveal All. This is very important. So what's basically happened is, is I just basically racked them side-by-side -side instead of on top of each other. Now, as you can see here, there's a gap in the middle. This, is, of course, is to your taste, but I just wanna show you how to blend this so you guys know the deal. Again, you can move it closer, you can move it bigger, you, oops, you can do whatever you need to do. Now, before I go ahead and fix this gap, you're gonna notice here that this image and this image are kind of not the same size, like they're proportionally, the focus is different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC and T, and I'm just gonna go ahead and resize this second image. So I'm just gonna make it so that the uh, basically the bushes in the background are both the same height because that way it'll look a little bit uh, better as opposed to uh, maybe something like that. What do you think? What do you think? Is that about right? I just want these things to be pretty level. That looks pretty level. Okay, something like that. We're just leveling the background here. So I'm gonna go ahead now and hit enter. So we've got them and they're both equal, not quite, but pretty close. Now, the next step, and this is the generator, this is the part where we use generative fill. I'm just gonna grab this here, the rectangular marquee tool and I'm just gonna draw a rectangular marquee or just a selection around the edges here, making sure I've got a little bit over on the sides. And then all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna click on generative fill and watch this. I'm gonna leave it blank. There's nothing inside the text there. I'm gonna click on generative fill. This should take just a few seconds. I'll come back when it's done and I'll show you how it worked. All right, look at that. Like this is pretty much as good as you're gonna get. Like it looks like a pretty much a perfect picture. You can flip through the different styles if you really need to, but the first one was as good as you're probably gonna get. And literally, that's it. If you wanna export it, just go up here, file export, and you're done. That's how you combine images like a pro using generative fill. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.